Hey everybody, Jay, Krista, Sadie Forever coming at you Money Monday and uh, Dreams versus Goals Monday. Yes, turning your dreams into a reality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turning your dreams into a goal with a plan. How about that? Yeah. Welcome to 2022. Are you guys ready for the new year? Have you sat down with your spouse and discussed all your dreams and your goals and what you want to do with this coming year. Um, Jay and I often do our goal setting in the summer for some reason. We just have always done it around our anniversary. You know why? Because um, it's warm and we can go camping or we go hiking. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful outside. That's why we save it for the spring or summer. Exactly. So we did make a goal setting uh, video this summer and it's kind of the eight steps to um, how you can make goals together and make them happen. Yep. So if you did that with us, the um, best thing to do right now is maybe pull that out because you're at about the six month mark and um, review them. See how you guys are doing with your goals. Um, do you need to revise some of them? Because sometimes things change and goals are okay and plans are okay if you do a, like an adjustment or you do a little bit of change. Yeah, and things are always going to change. I mean, exactly. life changes. So, I mean, yeah, you're always going to be setting new goals mm -hmm. or new dreams. You're always going to have dreams. I mean, some dreams are not obtainable. Uh, some goals possibly aren't obtainable, but the majority of the goals you set, if you're realistic, mm -hmm. if you're realistic with your goals, you will achieve them, no problem. We actually have a uh, thing we bought this year that's been hanging in our house. Um, this little saying here, and it says, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but not the goal. But never change the goal. Never change the goal. And what that means is, yes, you're going to have some different smaller goals, but you want to have some main goals about your priorities. Like, we want to have a good marriage. Right. So that's like an overall goal. You're never going to want to change that. Well, and you might have setbacks too. You might run across where you have some setbacks for work, life in general, marriage, whatever. But just because you have the setbacks doesn't mean you don't want to push forward to your ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. And your plans, so basically the plans are like the things that branch underneath that, that um, how are we going to attain that goal? We have a financial goal that we want to own a house in this many years or whatever. And then all the plans and how you're going to make that. Well, maybe there's been an adjustment in your, maybe one of you changed jobs and the income changed. So you're going to need to change and adjust that plan, but you may not change that overall goal that you right. want that house, um, you know, at, at a certain point. Um, so we thought we'd chat about that and we'd love to hear uh, this channel is not just about us giving advice because we're just an ordinary couple who's just been married for a while and had our own struggles um, we want this to be a community so right. we we need you guys to jump into the com conversation um, and into the comment section and give some advice that you know can help some other people too and if you have yeah. questions um, ask those questions in the comments and feel free if you're someone else and you've got an answer jump in and help them we'll help as best we can but we don't have all the answers um. yeah yeah <laughs> we're still a work in progress too but we've been together long enough you know we've had 35 years to try to formulate it into the right direction and mm -hmm. I think now we are. I mean, we're a lot closer than we were 35 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think we went into it unrealistically mm -hmm. 35 years ago. Now we're being more realistic and more uh, focused and structured and driven. Mm -hmm. And we know what we want in the remaining years of our life, marriage, you know, togetherness, all that. So um, we enjoy setting goals. Mm -hmm. We enjoy um, taking the time out, going to the mountains or by the river or whatever, and just mm -hmm. being out in the fresh air yeah. and just doing goals. Goal setting. Yeah, so whether you did that this summer <clears throat> um, and maybe you set some goals and now you need to review those and look those over, go ahead and pull out your goals and look through it, see what you need to change. Um, or maybe you're setting goals for the very first time. We'll link that uh, in the 
description, we'll link that video too so you can see those eight steps to making goals together. Yeah. But today we're doing more of a short version of that. Uh, we're talking about how you're going to take your dreams that you're dreaming and together you're going to turn those into a reality. And so the first step would be to identify what those goals are. And you're going to have to have a conversation. You're going to have to sit down together. Um, you've probably already been dreaming. Your spouse has probably already been dreaming of what they want. Maybe it's um, some improvements in your marriage. Maybe it's some uh, physical goals that you're trying to lose some weight or gain some weight or gain some muscle. Um, maybe it's something in your career. Maybe it's something in your finances. But you've been dreaming those. Have you sat down and discussed that with your spouse? Well, and hopefully, too. <laughs> I was thinking about this while she was <laughs> saying that. Hopefully that uh, you both have, have discussed somewhat some kind of goals before you said, I do. You know, yeah. um, I know there are some couples that don't discuss anything, but um, for those of you that are watching, we're hoping that you do have somewhat of a idea of what your mm -hmm. spouse um, has in mind for their goals that possibly could cross over to your goals that the goals are uh, similar or maybe they're identical. I mean, yeah. her and I, our goals, a lot of our goals are pretty much right at spot on, like the same goals. Mm -hmm. You know, where we want to be in five years, you know, what we want to accomplish in our yard mm -hmm. in the spring and summer and fall. Yeah. Each year we set goals to do that stuff outside and we achieve that because we stay driven mm -hmm. and focused on what we're working towards. Um, communication, we're always working mm -hmm. on communication, but the goals that are atta obtainable, like our mm -hmm. yard, I think we've done rather well in the yard part. Yeah. So the first step is so, to sit down and identify what they identify. are. Yeah. Identify. <laughs> Heck yeah. So sit down and discuss it. And our second <clears throat> one is um, dream together about what is possible. Maybe you haven't fully identified something, but sit down and dream. Don't yeah, be so, afraid that, you know, this isn't possible. Just sit down and dream together. And, and some, I know some couples, they have the dreamer and then they have the realistic person. And the person that's realistic needs to not crush the dreams of the dreamer. Um, just because they mm -hmm. say that they'd like to do this someday doesn't mean they're going to go out and run out and buy um, plane tickets to go to Paris next weekend. That's not what it means. It means that Sometimes they're dreaming. Sometimes it does, and it's scary for the person who's a realistic. Like, do we have the money? In? No, we need to let you guys dream. That's not Just what this dream. is about. <laughs> That's not what any of this is about. <laughs> what I'm saying is don't, uh, uh, what is the term, squelch the, the dreamer, um, because then mm -hmm. they're going to lose all hope in the direction they eventually, hopefully, want to get to one day. Um, and some of their dreams might be just way off the charts and you're like, where did you come up with that? There's no way we'd ever get there. But maybe they're that driven and maybe they will get there one day. But you can't just uh, suppress their dreams because it's going to make them upset. Mm -hmm. Just throw in the towel, forget about the marriage. You got to let them dream. If, they're, if you're married to a dreamer, let them just dream. And if it's you're, not going to hurt anything. And if you're a realist, maybe do a little dreaming. Exactly. Let go of the leash a little bit. Yeah. And dream a little bit with them. Heck yeah. And then go back to step one and identify what is possible in the next so many years or how we can do that. And what you can turn into a goal. Yeah. Not leave it as a dream and, and it's, mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a realistic point, mm -hmm. then it's gonna change over from a dream to reality and to a goal. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've set so goals over the years and we've achieved them. Turn those into you turn the dreams into a goal, and how you do that is the difference is a goal is a dream that has a plan attached. Yep. So not all goals are are just concrete possible things. Some goals are a little lofty, but you start to put a plan to it, a plan of action, and that includes usually a date when you want to start it or end yep. it. Um, a time, you know, like if it's something like you want to do something every week, come up mm -hmm. with your date and time. Um, yep. 
if it's something like finances and you want to uh, save so much money, make sure you have a start date. We're going to start saving here. We're going to try to hit our goal by here. And here's how much money put a number, a money thing to it, how much per month you know, has to be done. And then also, you know, just an action plan. How are you going to make that dream yeah. turn into a goal? Yeah. And you got to be realistic too. But at the same time, you can dream and say, you know, wow, I'd really like us to save a thousand dollars a month, every month for a year. Mm -hmm. um, realistically, is that possible for a lot of people? Crunch probably some not. numbers and see if you can make it happen. It's probably not. But the reality is you can get as close to that as you can and you'll be mm -hmm. surprised you know, what mm -hmm. you can do. Yeah, together, it's yep. amazing because you've got two brains, yep. two people who can make things possible. Uh, being a married team, you can take care, you can make a lot more dreams come true, yeah. you know, and yep. become a reality than one single person trying to do the same thing. Yep. Together, you guys yep. can conquer it. You've got two brains, yep. two bodies. Well, and you have two people coming at the goal, two separate ideas or directions. So it's almost like, uh, you know, how everybody says, well, we need to brainstorm about this. Well, if you brainstorm together about it, you're probably going to come up with some really amazing ideas and ways, creative ways, like mm -hmm. part, another part-time job or sell all the stuff that's in your storage unit that you've never seen for the last five years and use that money for your goal. You know, there's always something you can do. Okay, and so we this is Money Monday, so we usually tend to talk about money yep. and things that are physically, you know, we can attain. What about um, marriage, improving your marriage, things, improving your family, uh, family time? Those are some goals that you don't want to ignore because while you're, you need to have a strong marriage, while you guys are attaining these other goals, don't forget about the marriage yeah don't forget about putting in some goals to spend more time together yep. some downtime together like if you're going to go out and and both of you are going to get some extra jobs to make this financial goal happen what are you doing to repair or to uh to make your marriage stronger yeah in to the strengthen midst of it. it to strengthen it while you guys are busy doing the other stuff to make the goal yeah yeah don't forget about each other because then it's pointless <laughs> Yeah, you go out, you know, burning those yeah. goals and you got that house you were trying to buy, but your marriage fell apart in the midst of it. Yeah, don't get, don't go down that route. Yeah, I think the same thing happens with um, people who have children, couples that have children. Um, they end up so focused on how they're going to make those children's lives better. Yeah. And, you know, everything gets poured into their children. Yep that that's why you see a huge divorce rate about the time that the children have left the house. Because you know one thing that we've always heard from a lot of couples that we've known over the last mm -hmm. 35 years is, well, I don't, I don't know him anymore. After the I kids I don't know are gone. her anymore. Yeah, it's like, well, I don't know what we should do now because our kids are grown and out of the house and now we don't get along because we don't have the same things in common. Well, you know what, before you had kids, you didn't have the same things in common, but you made time to figure out what you could do together. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, executed that and you went and did that together. You know, some people like to snowboard, other people don't like to snowboard, but you know what, some people like to garden together. So put your energy into that. You know, it, mm -hmm. it you just got to come together and figure out what would be the best for both of you in your marriage and then work on the goals together. And I think what that is, is that um, a lot of them have been working towards some really good goals. Right. You know, raising kids is a very good sure. goal. And sure. it takes a lot of energy. Yeah, we're exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> um, Even but, though our kids are in their 30s now. Yeah, but it takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And so if you have some goals that are pretty, you know, big goals yeah. and energy sucking yeah you need to make sure you balance out those goals with some goals to make sure that you're uh, staying connected here yeah. because otherwise you're going to get to that goal your children will be raised and yeah. you will have succeeded at that goal you will have the financial goal the career goal the whatever goal 
and yet when you got to that end of that finish line, yeah. you'll find yourself alone. Yeah, and, and what it's gonna what's gonna be said is if you don't focus and work together for your goal in your marriage, is it's gonna be like, well the kids are doing great, but we're a mess. Yeah. Or we're getting a divorce because you know, we focused all of our energy on our kids. And don't get me wrong, it's good for you to focus on your kids so you have them mm -hmm. uh, reared up in a um, having a good life. You want to give your kids better than what you had. And I think all parents do that is they want their kids to be have it better than they did. Because mm -hmm. there's some kids like my grandparents that, you know, they didn't have two pennies to rub together. So they wanted my parents to have a better life. So then my parents wanted me to have a life better than they did. And so on. And our kids, mm -hmm. we tried to give them a really good life. But we also wanted to work on our marriage too. Yeah. So you've got to keep your uh, focus and priorities straight and keep your marriage as a f main focus. Super, super important. Yeah. Even on Money Monday, yep. to be focused on your marriage as well as your finances. Yep. Oh, and I got a, a verse from Proverbs 3 real mm -hmm. quick. It's uh, Proverbs 21, 5. It says, The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. Um, you definitely need to work together in your goals. Mm-hmm. You yes. definitely need to. Have a plan. Yep. And 2022, have a plan. And then also be flexible. Because as we all know, after 2020, mm -hmm. that you can put a plan into action and you could get derailed. Yep. Have hope. Just <clears throat> reassess that after the pandemic yeah. or after the crisis yep. and come back together and just start doing it again. Don't get discouraged. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah, don't let discouragement become the wedge between the mm -hmm. two of you. Um, you know, stay focused and driven and um, focus on each other and to make that marriage a stronger bond. And then you both attempting to get to your goals will have the right focus to get to your goals mm -hmm. and you'll have a better marriage for it mm -hmm. because you're, you're strengthening the marriage towards working towards the goals, but you know what's important. You're keeping this... Number where it one. needs to be, mm -hmm. where it needs to be, and not, well, I'll talk to you later because I'm going over here. No, yeah. no. We're rooting for hand you. Hand in hand. We're praying for you. Correct. We we want you to say I do forever, but yep. we also want you to be happy uh, forever yep. and enjoy your marriage and get to an old age where you just are each other's best friends. That's our That's our goal with this channel. Yes. So. Oh, I just wanted to say oh. one, one more thing. Um, mm -hmm. My goal with this new career that I picked, I am becoming certified in all these different areas that I have. I've been taking the online courses and getting college credits for all of the work I've been doing, and it's going really well. So I'm going to stay driven and focused, and she's my biggest cheerleader, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take take care of them one at a time until I get them all done and then I'll start my new career. So, so that's that, another good thing is that to is a be goal. your, be the a cheerleader. Yep. Be, when so when I get frustrated, is, she's mm -hmm. like, you know what? It's going to be okay. You can do this. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's one of my goals and I will achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press forward and keep driving and keep going and stay motivated. So you guys can do it too. And just keep in check with each other. Yeah, we love right. you guys very, very much. We pray for you guys. Yep. Um, even though we don't know all of you that watch, yep. um, we just know that God knows who's watching. And yep. um, we're praying for you, praying yep. for your marriage, um, praying for your family. Yep. Okay. Well, <laughs> at that, we uh, will see you guys on the next video. And until next time, Jay and Krista, help you say I do forever. See you guys. Love you guys.